Okay, what you're looking at is a visual tech closed circuit television video magnifier which is designed for use by the visually impaired. I'll take the cover off so you can get a better look at this. Now what this does, it's designed where the user can place a piece of printed material or, or other object that he or she needs to enlarge. It enlarges the object and magnifies it onto this television screen. Turn it on and let you have a look at it. Although it's not going to show up very well on the on the camera. Here's our size control. We can get it pretty much as big as we need it to be. Here's our focus control. We've got contrast and brightness. Also have a switch to reverse the polarity. Have controls for if you just want to highlight a certain portion of text, you can do that. I used a machine like this all through school. Had it on a roll around cart. And whenever I change classes, I just roll it from one class to another. It's actually kind of strange how I got this machine. Back in 1983, when I was preparing to enter first grade, my mother was determined that I would go to a regular school. And the powers that be at, at the local school district had the idea that they were going to put me in, a, in an LD class. And my mother told them, absolutely not. Unless you can prove to me there's something wrong with his mind, you're not putting him in an LD class. So they went round and round, and I eventually ended up in, a, in regular classes, but it was very difficult for me to see normal print since I'm legally blind, and the standard magnifiers that the school had did absolutely no good, so Mama saw a newspaper article about a, a boy that had a similar machine, and she did some looking into it, and she talked to the school system about buying me one, and, and of course, 30 years ago, that was before all the uh, laws were in place that were designed to help people with disabilities. And the school system told her, absolutely not. We can't spend that much money on one child. That's $2,500. We can't spend that. And she said, well, you wouldn't be spending it on just one child because... You're not going to make me believe that my son is the only visually impaired student that you have or ever will have in the district, in the school district. So they went round and round about it, and finally they said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. If you'll buy him a machine for home use, we'll get him one for uh, school use. So my parents said, done deal, it's taken care of. So they bought me one for home, and... The school system bought one for my use at school, and this is the same machine that I've had since 1984. It's died on me a couple of times, and since I'm handy with electronics, I was able to fix it. I don't know what happened to the one the school system had. Uh, they eventually replaced it with a newer model, and I think they eventually bought two or three more of these units for other students that came through the district so and by the time I went to uh, made it to college they had real nice machines that actually had color displays on them which someday I hope to possibly obtain but I'm happy with this one as long as it still works and does the job then that's all that matters I actually have a little bit newer model in my workshop. It's an Aladdin model, which is a similar black and white unit that I use out there in the workshop. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back later.